Well, Zimmerman then goes on to say, I try my hardest not to tweet U.S. soccer stuff, <laughs> but there was, there's some stuff out there that just drives me crazy. Well, this might have been a good time for him not to tweet U.S. soccer stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, he goes on to say, and don't mistake any of my tweets for jealousy. I never expect to be called in or involved with anything, and it doesn't hurt my feelings. And I just want to say to Preston, I don't think you're jealous, but I, because, you know, I never confuse jealousy with stupidity. And that's my <laughs> statement there. Two completely different things. Absolutely. Sometimes they interact. But. Yeah. And then this one is really amazing. I would, he says, I would just like to see true, real Americans who would live and die for this country representing our country. That's funny, Brett, because all of the kids that we've been talking about, or most of them that we're going to talk about tonight, all had American fathers who served in the United States freaking military. If that's not representing your country and living and dying for your country, I don't know what is. And I say by de facto, they kind of get a pass for me uh, as being American, true, real Americans. Yeah. And you know, I don't know how I don't know how accurate this is, but I read on a uh, on the big soccer uh, forum that uh, you no. know, there's a large number of uh, of uh, people in our mi current military that have green cards that aren't actually full blown citizens. You don't say. <laughs> Shocking! Unbelievable! Here they are. They are fighting and dying for the same country that uh, they're not even citizens of. Yeah. Americans to fight for. So. <laughs> A lot of them, in fact, will get their citizenship after serving in the United States military. It just strikes me as odd. Yeah, it I is. It is a bit odd, you know. And, and again, I just I love that line: "Who would live and die for this country?" I can probably name. Uh, I I I would be surprised if any of these guys playing on the U twenty threes or playing for the current United States national team, like some football players, American gridiron guys that we know, would have quit their careers immediately and signed up for the military um, and, and gone to Afghanistan and Iraq. I don't know what that has to do with anything at this point. Um, because if, if, we were, if that's all we were worried about, living and dying for our country, then, you know, for the last 10 years, there probably shouldn't have been professional soccer in the United States, right? Everybody should have been serving their country. Hmm. Am, am I going off pace here? <laughs> but I'm just, I'm just Take, reading taking this. it a bit too literally with I, what he's getting. But I, well, but you have to. I mean, he's literally saying, "I want real, true Americans who would live and die for this country." Real, true, and the mm -hmm. real, true Americans live and die for the country. So, Preston Zimmerman, why didn't you sign up six years ago? But anyhow. Because, you know, they need guys. They needed guys six years ago in the U.S. military. Anyhow, so then he goes on to say, but when the Olympic team holds mini camps in Germany with all, all European players, then something is wrong. Is that even a true statement? Mini camps? Like, like a lot of camps? I guess he says. No, it's, it, it strikes me as odd because uh, as far as I recall, we've had uh, one camp in Germany. Yeah. And one camp... But I think it was in Florida. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it was in Florida. Um, I don't know what he's referring to there. Yeah, all European so players. <clears throat> because I can tell you, we just went down the whole U23 list. Mm -hmm. There are plenty of Americans on that team. And there were plenty of Americans in the Americans. November 2 camp, too, right? <laughs> plenty of true Americans. I mean, real, not yeah. unfake Americans. The kind of Americans Preston Zimmerman likes. Yeah. There are plenty of those in there, right? <clears throat> All right, so again, he's just blowing smoke out of his butt. And then he says, the kids in college, in the United States, I assume, are as good, if not better, than some of the kids from the reserve teams getting invited to camp. I don't even sure who, what the, who, who is he taking a shot at here. I, I first thought he was taking a shot at Alfredo uh, Morales, but then I wasn't sure. So, you know, we went through the U23 um, lineups, right, mm -hmm. for the, the current. And there's John George, all right, Andrew Wooten. There's a couple guys that were born in, you know, foreign lands, fake Americans. And there's Discarude. He's a fake American too, right? Um, <laughs> but outside of that, we, we couldn't really find any. And then in the November camp, you know, they had uh, John Anthony Brooks, another very German name, uh, Tyrone McCargo, an extremely 
German sounding name. I, I've met so many Germans named Tyrone uh, and Terrence Boyd. So, you know, there's a few other fake, potentially Zimmerman fake Americans that, um, but then that, that's not a whole lot of guys, is it? I mean, when you look that's at not, the scheme, I mean, that's, uh, I mean, there are other, uh, there are other players that are playing in Germany that were called in for these camps. Um, but like we pointed out, the ones he listed were ones that were actually born and raised in Germany. Yeah. Um, my, my question is, was what is Preston going off of when he says there are a lot of college kids that are just as good as these reserve kids? Oh yeah. Cause I mean, uh, I mean, Preston himself skipped college. Yep. When, uh, went to Germany, mm-hmm. played in the reserves, reserve league Nuh-uh. and, uh, got called up. In the 2007 U20 World Cup, are you roster. kidding? Oh. So I mean, it, it seems a wee bit hypocritical. <laughs> although he is a true American because he comes from the U.S. Right, so, there's absolutely. There's a bit difference. A little dip. There's a there's a silver lining right there for him. That's right, and he's a true American because somehow I believe he's indirectly related to Bob Dylan, uh, mm-hmm. whose real name was Robert Zimmerman. Actually, that's all bullcrap. Anyhow, oh. um, <laughs> he's not related to uh, Robert Zimmerman. Um, and then he goes on to say, and I found that college remark, by the way, as well. Just, just I, I wasn't not sure. Not to say that there aren't talented kids sure. in college, but I'm there just are. saying we have we have three kids who fit his description. Mm-hmm. What three college kids are really getting snubbed out, and are they actually better than these three? Yeah, exactly. Because they're, I mean, there are only three fake Americans, according to Preston Zimmerman on this current U23 team. Um, and then he goes on to say, "I am the only one here who thinks this." Or are there others? People have to speak up when they don't like what's going on. Um, okay, that's fine. I guess he did. Uh, there are okay. others, apparently. There are others. There are a lot of others that feel the same way. I was, or at least uh, to a degree. Yeah, I was surprised how many others there were, actually. Which is, I wouldn't have bothered to have this show if everybody would have just come out and said, Oh, clam up, Zimmerman. <laughs> yeah, just shut it, buddy. But no, there are a lot of people out there who said, You know what? I'm glad he said this. Um And then he says, um, if Klinsman was winning and very successful with his approach, then my words would carry no weight, but I don't see any success. Actually, Preston, your words still don't carry any weight. (laughs) And that's just because he is Jurgen Klinsman and you're Preston Zimmerman. And by the way, Jurgen Klinsman uh, was a very successful uh, player in his day. And uh, we'll see how he does after, you know, leading Germany during the World Cup. Of course, okay, everybody's going to see Yogi Love really did all that. That's fine, okay. Blah, 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 blah. The, the bottom line is I'm going to listen to Klinsman before I listen to Preston Zimmerman. Is that and fair? It, in this situation, there's nothing really uh, shocking with what Zimmerman – or not with Zimmerman. There's nothing really shocking with what Klinsman is doing. The only player I had ever questioned as far as what Zimmerman is getting off on – is uh, Morales, mm-hmm. and that's because he hasn't really played for his team. The only reason I saw his call up as being anything positive was basically saying, "Hey, don't play for Peru. We're interested in you uh, playing with us. Mm-hmm. So come to the camp, and we'll show you what it's all about." He's a one of those Peruvian yeah. fake Americans. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. And, uh, and you know, outside of that, every other single player on the actual national team, you have Williams, Johnson, Chandler, Jones. They're all receiving playing time on the first team. Yeah. Uh, maybe not all consistently, but you know you had uh, Johnson, who's received several uh, consistent uh, performances at left back recently with his club. Uh, Jones has been starting for the past eight or nine games. Chandler's mm-hmm. been a starter since the last season. Yep. Uh, Williams is getting bit roles and starts here and there. Uh, I mean, th- none of these players are obviously shocking, and quite frankly, what American on the national team is really in snubbed in place of these players? Yeah, that's a really good know. question. Yeah, I don't know either. And after watching the way Johnson played that last game, mm. uh, I thought, wow, this guy's really promising. And well, we and, had more fake Americans like that. Yeah, I wish <laughs> we had more fake Americans like that. And Chandler, God, I mean, who would we be playing at left back if it wasn't for Chandler? That's right, folks, Jonathan Bornstein. So come on, let's, let's get behind these guys. Um, all right, and then he goes on squeaking out, uh, Zimmerman does, squeaking out 1-0 wins against CONCACAF villages isn't success, as if Hon- Honduras is a village. That's nice. <laughs> I guess they all probably barely wear any clothes, too, and they all, uh, you know, 
are growing cocaine crops. I, I really, I can't believe he even made that statement. All right. Uh, and then he says, people can bash me for whatever reason, but I hate seeing my country's national team being misused and disrespected. Really? It sounds like the guy doing the disrespecting here is Preston Zimmerman. But that's just me. I well, don't... as we pointed out at the beginning of the show, apparently he just must not have uh, watched too many uh, U.S. games growing up as a kid because this isn't anything new. It's not new. I mean, and then if that's the case, then Bruce Arena, the two uh, managers before that even as well, both, both have been calling up foreign-born Americans. And we went through the list already here. This is not new. Anyhow, um, I guess they were all abusers and users. All of them were disrespectors. Um, and then he says, Clint's, Our history is plagued by it. Yeah, our history is full of these disrespectors and misusers and fakers, fake Americans. Klinsman just wants to let everyone know he's in charge. I don't know what the hell that means. A U.S. team needs to comprise of real Americans. Again, just, I mean, we're thankfully down the last couple statements here. Because this is just repetitive garbage at this point, right? Yeah. All right. I know plenty of guys who are in the MLS and know what it's like to play for their country who deserve a look for the U.S. team. I like who? Brad Davis. You know, Zussi's getting a look here. Um, there are guys getting looks, right? This is, the, this is the, a lot of the a lot of the players. This is their big shot. Yeah, Jeff um, Cameron. The, we made we made a comment that you know Cameron John, uh, John Gonzalez all should have been getting uh, call ups at least so, since our center back is so thin. But outside of that. I mean, there are obviously players who should get a shot in camps like Camp Cupcake. Yeah. You know? It's it's just what it is. And this is their opportunity to shine saying, hey, call me up to the next camp. If they perform well, they'll get more calls up. Call up. Camp Cupcake is full of MLS players. That's all it is pretty much outside of uh, um, Parkers, I think. So maybe what Preston doesn't like is that the MLS guys that were picked for Camp Cupcake aren't the MLS guys he likes. I don't know. I guess I can't make any sense of his his comment here. Uh, and then he says, I hope the U.S. team wins and dominates just as much as anybody else because it's my country. Dun, 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 dun. And I want my country to be number one and dominate. Oh, say can we see. Come on, dude. This is ridiculous. Now he's just sucking up, right? Because yeah. he finishes with, don't want anybody to take my tweets negatively. What? You don't want anybody to take them negatively or as oh, criticism. Was. Yeah, he says, or as criticism to make somebody look bad. I think you missed the boat on that because you already did it, buddy. And then, I wonder if his agent caught a whiff of the tweets and said, fix it now. Well, you know what? We all were catching whiff of it as it was coming out, and it was smelling up the zone. So I hope somebody, maybe one of his, his former U.S. you know youth teammates, said hey dude what's going on with you you better tone that crap down uh he says he finishes with i just have a passion an interest in the united states team a passion ah okay i think a lot of us are very passionate about the united states men's team and you are i am there are hundreds and thousands of people out there that are really passionate but what we actually try to do typically is really kind of make sure and we we're you know, we've made plenty of factual errors. When you have a, a show three times a week, Brett, as you know, you're going to make errors. It happens, okay? We've made plenty of them. We've corrected them on the fly. We've, you know, corrected them when we can. We put it out there. Yes, we made this error. Oops, we misspoke there. But this is just plain old, you know, baseless, factless crap. And that's what this was. I concur. Oh, by the way, I didn't tell you this, Brett. I actually made... Have you ever seen that show where they copy food, where like this guy goes on and he clones like a Big Mac, and makes it just like McDonald's? No. You never seen that? I did that today. I cloned a Big Mac, and it no was kidding. it was awesome. The whole family they were like, "Are you kidding me? This is exactly like a Big Mac." Well, that's because I cloned a Big Mac. Now, did and, you go out and buy a couple of Big Macs and throw them on your family's plates? Yeah, that would have been awesome, but guess what? My buns didn't have the seeds. 